There's a big button here that we can click there and follow along on your own computer. So the very first thing we're going to look at is the navigation. So if we take a look here, we can see in the middle, there's a large section, and this contains the body of all the research sources that are in this particular library at the moment. You can scroll up and down to find everything from uh, 2021 down to 1946. And this isn't a complete collection, but it's certainly growing. So what does include? Well, some of the things that includes at the moment, we can see in the category. So if we look in the top left here, we can see that we have the main uh, group here in Alexander Technique Studies, and then we have these three or four different categories. We have peer-reviewed publications. So if we clicked on that, this would show us all the peer-reviewed publications that we currently have in this database. Uh, this is growing all the time, so check back soon for more. We also have non-peer-reviewed publications, which is, of course, also growing. Thank you to everybody who's sending their information in. And we have a personal reflections category and awaiting categorization. So this is a nice way for you to quickly scan through and see what's here. Now, if we went ahead back to everything and say, okay, well, let's take a look at everything that there is. We'll click back on this Alexander Technique Studies uh, bar here, and that will take us back into the main group here. Now, another way to look around is to take a look at these categories at the top. So we can see we have title, creator, item type, and year. And your computer might be a little bit different, so you can actually personalize this for you by clicking on this little uh, icon here, which is the column selector, and you can click on the different uh, items that you want to have uh, your research organized by on your personal computer. From here, if we clicked on any one of these, all of a sudden, we're going to have a bunch of information show up, and we'll look at that in a moment. But before we do that, we can also take a look through by clicking and alphabetizing things. So for instance, if I clicked on Creator, I could alphabetize my list here. I could also do it by year, for instance, and this will take us back to the top. Third way we can take a look through is by heading over to the bottom left-hand uh, corner of your page. But let's say, for instance, you're really interested in the Alexander Technique and awareness. Well, here we go. We have four papers that are showing up with that particular tag. We can, of course, click on this, or if we want to get back to the main group, you can always go back and just click up on the top left here. The next one we can look at here is in the top right. We have a, a text search here. So if we clicked in this little bar here, you can see we have a couple ways to search. Now what's important is this isn't actually searching through the entire research paper, but what it is searching through is the citation and perhaps the abstract, if that's included. So you can click on that. And let's say we wanted to uh, learn what is associated or published on the Alexander Technique and uh, let's say dance. Let's try that. You can click here. Here's a 2011 article and a 2005 article. If you want to remove the tag dance, so you want to look for something else, you can, of course, always just go back and click on this main bar here, Alexander Technique Studies, which will take you back to the main group. All right. So now let's get into finding information. Let's say we wanted to dive in, find some specific information on a paper. Let's take a look at a 2020 paper here um, by the team over at the SRG here. This was published quite recently. And if we clicked on this, we can see that um, this was published in the Kinesiology Review. Uh, we can learn more information about it here, such as the volume, the issue, um, the title, of course. And if we scroll down, we can even find the abstract. Importantly, we can also find a DOI or a URL here. Not all of the um, research sources have this, but some will have this. And it's a link, actually, that's going to take you to where the source can be found. So let's try this. Let's click on the URL, or you can click on the link here. Uh, this is at the Journal of Human Kinetics. And we have uh, the paper showing up here it is uh, currently restricted access. So you could, of course, purchase this article if you need it for your research. But you can also find uh, additional information here, which may not be on the Zotero site. Okay, let's look at one more. If we take a look here, click on the next one. 
Here is a publication by Cohen et al., uh, friends over at Alexander Technique Science. We, of course, have a uh, abstract at the bottom for this paper published in 2020. The authors, the title, uh, this source happens to have a DOI and a URL. Let's click on this one. So this one takes us to a different journal, Innovations in Aging. And we scroll down here, it happens to be that this uh, article is an open access article, so you could click on the PDF and download that uh, for free. We can take a look at creating your own bibliography. So let's say you wanted to, um, you're doing a literature review or um, you're just creating um, you know, some citations for a paper you're writing or even just your own website, where you could click on the ones that you want or you can click on multiple here and we have this small icon which looks like a couple small books and this is create your bibliography which you can click on from there it'll automatically create a bibliography here and we can see that it puts it into APA 7th edition in our citation style um, you can of course click on that and choose a different style if that works for you you can also change the language of the style on the far right here and then you can go down and copy these to your clipboard and paste them into your Word document or whatever uh, Word software you are using on your end. So that is how to navigate our way through the Zotero Research Library, how to find uh, more detailed information, perhaps even link to the paper or linking to the journals where we can find the original paper, and then how to create a bibliography. Lastly, if you have any information in terms of uh, research that you see that should be included in this library that isn't, um, please let us know. This is a growing database. Um, people are sending in their information all the time. We're updating it as fast as we can, and we appreciate your patience. Okay, thank you so much for your time, and uh, thanks for your support of ASO.